have been on Earth millions of years ago and the sea is something that has been associated with us from that time until now. Meanwhile, the first person to fly into space was Yuri Gagarin only about 60 years ago. So our understanding of the ocean is more than that of the universe. Not really. The ocean is a huge body of salt water that covers about 71% of Earth's surface. An estimated 97% of the world's water is found in the ocean. Because of this, the ocean has considerable impact on weather, temperature, and the food supply of humans and other organisms. Despite its size and impact on the lives of every organism on Earth, the ocean remains a mystery. More than 80% of the ocean has never been mapped, explored, or even seen by humans. A far greater percentage of the surfaces of the Moon and the planet Mars has been mapped and studied than during that time, people were always curious and wanted to explore the vast and mysterious ocean. But the first and perhaps the biggest obstacle is the pressure issue. The deepest place on Earth that humans have measured is the Mariana Trench with a depth of 11,000 meters. Even if you drop Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, it still lies more than one kilometer above the water's surface. At this depth, the water pressure is about 1,071 atmospheres, 1,000 times higher than the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. That's equivalent to the weight of about 48 jet planes. But in reality, it is not necessary to reach that depth but only a few hundred meters of water are needed and very few ships can reach it. If you want to dive deeper, you must have more specialized submarines. However, this comes with a lot of risks, because with just one small error in design or operation, disaster can happen at any time. Typically, in June 2023, a submersible called Titan operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions was crushed while plunging into the wreck of the Titanic at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, killing all five people inside. The reality is that the surface of the ocean is not flat, in many places there are huge differences in depth. Therefore, we have the next obstacle which is about vision. When we go into the water for more than 200 meters, we will be completely immersed in darkness and we will not know what is waiting ahead. Meanwhile, in outer space, it will be quite bright thanks to the light of the sun and other stars shining continuously. So since then, more people have gone into space than the number of people who have reached the bottom of the ocean. That is less than five people. And in fact we only know about 5% about the ocean. So we know so little about the animals that currently live in the deep ocean. If you've ever spent time comparing deep sea creatures, you'll know that sharks aren't the only danger. While swimming below the surface, NOAA reports that the Australian box jellyfish is the most venomous marine animal in the ocean. There are also other potential threats including puffer fish, which contain enough toxins to kill 30 adults. When in space, the difficult thing is getting used to the state of zero gravity. But when diving into the sea, people also have to face volcanic eruptions on the ocean floor. You absolutely did not hear wrong. It sounds quite paradoxical, but the fact that volcanoes exist in the ocean is true, not a fabrication. And even two-thirds of the world's volcanoes are located deep on the ocean floor. When they erupt, it is thanks to the dense layer of ocean water that masks their sound. They are all formed when continental plates collide or separate. That is the Pacific region. When erupting, lava meets water and immediately cools and rarely escapes to the surface. Therefore, when exploring the ocean floor, there is still a potential risk of encountering volcanoes. There are also countless potentially dangerous species such as sea snakes, sharks and many types of deep sea monsters. And in a case that sounds absurd, maybe in that deep and dark ocean, some kind of prehistoric sea monster is still alive and still hunting every day. Today, 
thanks to acoustic terrain exploration technology called sonar. This is a modern method that brings very high accuracy. Specifically, researchers will use a multi-beam sonar system, which works by beaming out a set of fan-shaped sounds into the water from a device placed directly beneath the ship's hull. The projected sound bounces off the targeted area at different rates and angles. All the sound signals are then processed by computers and converted into a detailed three-dimensional map of the seafloor. Currently, the ocean is still something of a mystery and motivates scientists to explore every corner, just like the universe. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it interesting, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Thank you.